This is the story of how two tiny kittens from totally different backgrounds in two different states were rescued and became best friends. When I first rescued Hank, she was all alone. She was just a few days old when she was dropped off in a tissue box at a pet store in Maryland with no mom, no siblings, no nothing. Oh, I can't wait to get all the flea dirt off of you. Yeah. Hank really had the cards stacked against her. Being orphaned at such a young age, her immune system was so compromised that she couldn't seem to fight off anything. She even got an eye infection when she was just a few days old. But with a lot of TLC and of course help from modern medicine, she started to improve. And I knew I wanted her to have a friend. So that's when I rescued the three little bears. The bears came from New York City where they'd been found on the street with no mother and had been brought into the local animal shelter. Ooh, you got sprayed, sorry. I did? Yes. <laughs> Although they were about two and a half weeks older than her, I hoped that as they grew up, Hank could join them. She was still really little, so I raised her separately and took care of the three little bears in my kitten room. Grizzly, Sun Bear, and Kodiak are a healthy, rambunctious tabby trio, and the three of them were so fun together. As everyone got bigger and older, I knew I wanted to pair the two boys together, Grizzly and Sun Bear, and to pair the girl, Kodiak, with Hank. But that's when something horrible happened. Hank started to get really sick. She came down with panleukopenia, a deadly virus that kills about 90% of kittens who get it. I was determined to fight for her, so I poured everything I had into providing her with intensive, supportive care around the clock. If you want to know more about Hank's fight with panleukopenia, you can watch my video where I show everything that I did with her. So Hank was quarantined and receiving intensive care, and since I knew she was too sick and too weak to be paired with the bears, I decided it was best to go ahead and adopt them out without her. I knew that if Hank survived at all, it would be a long battle, and that ultimately it would be best to get the other kittens into their new homes, and then worry about finding a friend for Hank later. So Grizzly and Sun Bear got an awesome home together, and they've been having a blast ever since. Since Kodiak wasn't going to have Hank as her buddy, I wanted to find her a home that already had a cat so she could still have a friend. Kodiak got adopted into a home that had an adult cat, and she was there for about five days when her adopter called me with some shocking news. She wanted to return her. What? I couldn't believe it. So Kodiak was returned. Unfortunately, Kodiak's adopter was not prepared for the commitment of adopting a kitten. Adopting a kitten is a lifetime commitment, and it's so important that people are making this decision with full awareness. I felt so bad for Cody. So Andrew and I went on a shopping spree to buy her lots of toys and welcome her home with open arms. Go crazy! Oh, oh, oh. oh these are good. Um, what about this little ladybug? Oh, yep. Oh, it's a hot dog. Oh, we're getting that. Get the princess one. It's fuzzy. Nice. Amazingly, just as Kodiak was being returned, job, Hank girlfriend. was making a full recovery from her virus. Hank's a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> I don't know the words. And so the two of them became fast friends. They are so funny together. Hank is definitely the sweetheart. And Kodiak, well, she's a maniac. Cody's favorite thing on earth is to climb on shoulders and do kitten parkour from person to person. Woo! These two are awesome together because Cody brings out Hank's playful side and Hank brings out Cody's cuddly side. As it turned out, they were meant to be together the whole time. On their big adoption day, I was so excited for them. Bye, Cody. We celebrated their success and got them all ready to go into their new home. I love you. I had no idea I'd get teary-eyed saying goodbye. But after the end of a long, long journey, I had happy tears for these two. <laughs> oh, I'm just really proud of her. Because I like, thought that she might not make it. 
Oh, uh, many yeah. times. <laughs> so it's really cool. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I'm so uh, excited.